Hey everyone, Avapilot here, and today we're playing In Heat Honeymoon. And it was developed by Aquapalo in partnership with Monsterbox. Because Monsterbox is the developer who made In Heat. Now, this is a uh, like a visual novel or a dating sim kind of a game. I'm really not sure. Now, if any of you know of In Heat, you know it's a bit raunchy. Uh, it's supposed to be like a FNAF fan game kind of thing, you know. But I don't know if this one's going to be raunchy or not. But uh, we're going to find out. And I I think I can have a link to this down below because I think uh, the game page is pretty safe to look at. So YouTube shouldn't give me any hassle. We'll find out though. If it's not there, that means I had to take it out. <laughs> but I'll let YouTube inform me once I do it. But let's get into it. This is just chapter one. It's still in development. Oh, look, we can save whenever we want. Uh, first name. Sure. Someone had told me what I was going to get myself into last week. I would not have believed it. I want a ticket to a resort on an actual island. I don't even have a clue where Diamond Straits is in. I had never visited another country before. I barely got out of my desk let alone my city. The island is fucking massive. This is driving me nuts, and to think that when I got the call, I almost dismissed it as a scam. Foolish. It was my office contacting me to say the boss had a slot for a free holiday out of if I were to take my vacation at that date. Unboarding the cruise ship was a hassle, of course it is, but in no time we had arrived to the island. Allegedly, the boss was looking for some lucky guy to enjoy a honeymoon vacation package his wife refused to sign up for. I can imagine why. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't blame her. I know exactly what the boss was looking to do in this island. But in naughtiness. Diamond Straits is not known for its massive scale and independent means of production. It's mainly known for only one thing. Furries. I mean, furries. I mean, monsters. The Diamond Straits Resort and Entertainment Facility is a pioneer in gene splicing technology. They know how to market the hell out of it. But unlike everyone else on the cruise, I wasn't getting the regular stay at this place. My boss was particularly fascinated with the gene splicing aspect and essentially ordered the premium package, got a tour and everything. It's also no secret that most visitors roam the place actively looking for the monsters. That's the whole point of going there. Following the numbers on each room, I would have never guessed where my stay was going to be in. A member of staff had to help me out by telling me to take the elevator here. I didn't know my boss had booked a penthouse. Though it looked rather cheap looking for a penthouse, what struck me was the giant apparatus right outside the balcony. The place was so big it completely messed with my head up. I didn't even know what this trip had in store for me, let alone who to ask. However, it wouldn't take long before my questions had answers. Hey, can we save now? Yes, we can. Perfect. Just want to make sure it got done. Room service, may I come in? You're already in the room, I think. Yeah, I, I forgot I meant to do that until halfway up the lift. I don't know who this character is. But we'll oh, Prinny. Holy shit, an opossum. All my stars. A human. Uh. Very, very. I can't even think of the word I was going to say. Fascistus. No. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> my mind is going blank right now. Sarcastic, that's it. At last, I met up with this island's main attraction. In front of me was a tall, humanoid talking monster. Now, I don't know if Prinny is in, in heat. They keep adding characters. Uh, I also didn't do a video on the last two updates they did. Uh, I was going to wait until there's even more. Until I do another video. I just don't want to keep making videos and like for little tiny updates here and there. Uh, they added some new characters, but you, they're really not implemented yet. Like they're in the menu screens, but they're not in the game. So I was like, eh, I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who just keep making videos on one game, even though there's like an update of like oh it's like apple phones 
Oh, this new phone of ours has copy and paste ability now. Well, who fucking cares? <laughs> you should have had that in the old ones. But I don't want to do that. I'd rather have enough content that's new to show people. Her shape was voluptuous, to say the least. The hip to head ratio looked near anatomically impossible. Here she was, sporting a fairly sexy outfit. Engineer to the company's liking, a walking advertisement for the world's newest means in gene splicing. Oh, I want to see Sammy and Poppy. What's likely to be several billions, all spent to achieve the goal of creating furries. So anyways, my name is Prinny. I'm the one responsible for making sure our premium customers come back. You must behave a pilot. You don't look like the rich type that just lost their vacation to an employee. No, no, that's my boss. Swell. You'd be a cool enough bro to let me storm the minibar, right? Sure. What you want to do, go right ahead. I won't stop you. Well, I'll have you know not to allow staff to take anything of yours. Your vacation has been paid for, so no tips or gifts to staff. I see. I'll take the offer on that beer, however. Thanks. And he rounded off towards the minibar, leaving me unattended. So, any girlfriends? No, not in a while. Well, not now anyway, but I think we could change that. Oh, then you'll have a lovely time here. And I'm here to make sure of it. I bet you are. That's my job. I'll be downstairs assisting you in anything you'd like. Can I not just roam around? Technically you could, but people will pay so much for this specific tier that there's kind of nothing planned in case you want to. There's also so much planning behind leaving the girl's entire schedule empty for the week. They shouldn't complain too much. After all, for the duration of your stay, they get to do nothing. Wait, they get to not do anything? Oh, okay, same thing. It's that big of a deal, huh? You get what you pay for. You get to date the girls. Perfect. Eh? Hey, hold on now. No one mentioned dating. Shut up. You think someone would pay to go on a private island and a penthouse so they could not have sex? Yeah, don't be stupid. Take them up on the offer. Hold on, what did I sign up for? I mean, this, you signed up for this. Oh no, you get to get all the hot bothered with two women at a time. You're a big guy. I'm sure you can handle a woman. Is this like a regular thing with you girls? Do you... I have a boyfriend, but thanks for the offer. Ah, seems as good of a time to tell you. I've been told to warn you about potential side effects. Side effects? The company warns all their guests to avoid cellular degeneration by not touching the girls. Doing so is doing it at your own risk. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You can have sex with them, but how are we supposed to do that without touching them? I can understand some like, <laughs> you know, no using your hands, but you're having sex, aren't you still touching? Cellular degeneration. Not any more dangerous than flying a plane. Plus, no one's stopping you from just having a meet and greet with the girls. Although the resort does demand, you at least not waste their staff's time and actually go out and meet them. Oh, definitely. I wouldn't want to get anyone in trouble. I'll leave you to it. There's a brochure on the table and a phone on the counter there. If you need anything else, just call. You book your day with me. I'll schedule everything, and you just need to step into the monorail when we're ready. That's the monorail. Sure is. These are used only by our most expensive guests, being able to take you throughout the island in an instant. Transmission. Yours has been charged this morning, so you can go at any time. Oh, seeing as there wasn't enough days scheduled for your stay, we could only feasibly arrange slots for two girls at a time. So we've organized the meet and greets to be done in pairs. Is that even going to be fun for them? Is what the other dude paid for? Just make sure you call me on the phone over there before at night time. The information is on the table. Bye, honey. See you soon. Alright, I guess I have to pick a date. Nice. In certain hub menus such as this one, you can hover to the sides and browse your environment. Sometimes you can even click stuff. I like clicking stuff. What's this? 
Look for the screwdriver and break the robot. Oh, it's the robot from the game. I remember that. What can we look, uh, uh, move over? I need to find a screwdriver for the robot. Where am I going to find that? Probably not in the room. Oh, we're going to save again. Yes, overwrite that. And uh, I guess the only thing left to do is uh, check available picks. Emmy and Poppy. Why is Poppy all blurry? Well, she is the crazy one. Cassidy. Oh, wait a minute. Cassidy. Yeah, she's one of the newer girls. The cowboy. Cowgirl one. Are you sure? No. She's like all by herself, whereas these two, they're together. Sure, yes. Definitely. Two for one, why not? I'll check out these two. Sammy and Poppy. Mm -hmm. Grab the telephone and call Prinny over. Hey. Yeah? Did you come upstairs? Yeah. Very enthusiastic. What a lovely pick. Sammy and Poppy are some of the most down-to-earth staff members in our resort. I'm sure you'll prov be provided with a great afternoon. Not that any of them are unhinged in any way, or that any of them aren't just as good a company. Don't tell them I said that. So then, the monorail is charged. Step on. Yes, ma'am. Loose lighting of the monorail contrast with the rattling of the trees calmed my mind immensely. My brain wasn't processing what was happening quickly enough. I felt like it was just yesterday that I got on the boat ride here. Wasn't it, though? Even watching over the whole island, I can't keep myself from feeling this is all a dream, and I'm still stuck back at the office. This whole experience wasn't this overwhelming all the time. What am I saying? I should be having fun. Damn right. This is more than the perfect time to leave all my problems back at home and enjoy life for a week. I wonder if all the monster girls are like pretty, really. But I guess I'll just have to wait and see how they look, really. I wonder if they're being paid to like me. I guess that counts as staff. I guess they count as staff as well. Well, they are being paid to like you, duh. Your job. I might be overthinking things again. Wherever they are, I hope to give them just as good a time when I'm around. Yeah, don't think so highly of yourself. There seems to be no one around. The girls are supposed to be here already. Are they late? It's Poppy! It's him! He's here! Sammy! Go and take a look! My spine! Hey, if it isn't our lucky guy. How you feeling, dude? I think I'm bleeding from my bones. Well, there's another bone that I want to have bleeding something. Get used to it. She's a hugger. You must be Sammy. Sure am. And you're, uh, the dude. Sorry, I just woke up. You're Ava Pilot, right? Give us files on you. Sorry if that bothers you. Not at all. Ask me who I am. Come on. Okay, who are you? See, he doesn't know who I am told me to ask. Right in front of me were two actual monsters. They were massive. I could feel their footsteps slightly shake the ground from nearly walking. This is out of this world. What brings you to Diamond Straits? You? My, uh, my boss had to give away his vacation? What a bummer. This island is kind of fun. That's an understatement. He paid for the most expensive package only to get blue balled by his wife. Not that I blame her. That's true love. Speaking of, do you have a girlfriend? No, why do you ask? Virgin. Virgin. Can't smell coochie on him at all. No coochie. No coochie. Could you stop? Where do you want to go? Uh, what do you mean? We're doing a meet and greet, honey. Where do you want a seat so we can greet? I, uh, he wants to go to the Bay Plaza. Oh uh, yeah, let's go there. Thank you. 
Let's save again. Yes. Yes, yes. Despite how expensive the stay is, I was caught off guard by how many people could afford visiting this place. It's all the one percenters. And let me tell you, this jungle-themed plaza by the sea was packing. Full to the brim, all kinds of people walking around in fully animated walk sequences. The whole lot. Thankfully, there was just enough room for me, Sammy, and Poppy to walk around. The girls naturally occupied a large portion of the sidewalk. Crouch stared occasionally at the girls as they passed. The two giants surrounded me as we walked up to the center of the plaza. Poppy wrapped her arm around me and would occasionally bump my side on her hip, pulling me towards her. That's Poppy! Anuni! She only exists as an actual real person on screen. Sammy, the dude's a piece of wet cloth. I'm gonna go to the aquarium if that's okay. Only if you ask Ava Pilot first. All right. Ava Pilot, do you fear death? Well, oh, wait, wait a minute. What? You can just go. How would I stop you anyway? He said yes. I'm off. She's fun to be around. I guess so. I like your chill attitude. She made a guy shit himself when she said that. Oh, did she now? Yeah, but she said it right after she pounced on him. Come on. Let's pick a seat and wait for a waitress. I felt once again quite intimidated by the absolute size of this woman. Monster? Animal? More so, I was surprised by how much of the park was adapted to accommodate these girls' ridiculous size. Are you enjoying the island? So are we like sitting in like a booster seat or something? Sammy caught me distracted and brought me into the conversation. As I was distracted by the plaza's view. It's been fun, but it feels like it's too much to take in at once in only a handful of days. Obviously, you're not the kind of guy who could even afford visiting this place. Besides, you wouldn't fit in with the rest. Sammy is so blunt in her way of speaking, but her tone is always relaxed. I can't tell if she's upset or happy. You're right, but why do you say that? Our tourists have this angry vibe to them. They pay a hefty amount to visit, so naturally, they want to be treated like kings. is isn't a bad thing. It's all the better when I just do whatever I want and have them call staff on me. You won't catch me feeding grapes to no rich dude cheating on his wife. Sorry if I brought the mood down. It's just new seeing what a regular guy is like. Come on, tell me your hobbies. Don't let me do all the talking. Uh, I take walks? Hmm. And I play video games? Oh my god, this sounds like... It kind of stops there. I don't remember anything else. My work? Oh my god, this is me. That's not a hobby. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't have much else to say. That's fine. So what are you and Poppy? A tiger and a bunny? I mean, what's your thing together? We entertain the guests in any way we can. You can probably tell by the circus outfits. We're kind of a big deal. You're talking to this place's mascot. I see. You're not too affected by that when I say it. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm being boring or you're not that energetic yourself. Let's be nice and just apologize. I'm sorry if I'm being boring. This whole trip felt like I'm losing my mind. I'm so kind of not really here half the time. Is it a bad thing? No, boring is good. I'm trying to take it easy more often. Not every day needs to be a show. You're doing fine. I like this. It's new. You're not spending half the conversation freaking out over how massive we are like everyone else. I've been doing that all day. What about Poppy? Do you two always hang out together? Poppy just needs close company during most of the day. But it's not like I'm responsible if she goes off on a rampage. Uh oh, she does that. No, not during the day. Isn't it tiring sometimes? I wouldn't say that really. She's a treat to be around if you like her type. She's great at being Poppy. Kind of makes me wish I could be more of a Sammy. How so? Is something wrong? No, it's fine. Forget I said that. Let's see. I actually think you're fine at being Sammy or speaking of Poppy. 
Let's keep the conversation on Sammy. I actually think you're fine at being Sammy. Thanks, Ava Pilot. I like her, but I feel like, I don't know, I'd get sick of it if I was her all the time. But I do love her. I bet Poppy loves you too. I bet she does. Giggity. Aw, you're sweet. Speaking of her, why she's not around? See, I didn't even need that option, it just comes up automatically. She likes to visit the aquarium wherever we're nearby. You're a sweetheart, you should definitely go bother her. I should go bother the giant bunny during her private time? Yeah, I don't know about that. Especially during her private time. Like, right now? Yeah, bring her over to here. Alright, off I go. We're gonna get killed by a giant bunny. I think that's a good time to save. Being unable to spot Poppy anywhere outside, I decided to visit the aquarium, both in hopes of finding Poppy and escaping the island's heat. The sign outside stated the tank water was being cleaned, but regardless, I found Poppy in one of the rooms of the aquarium, sitting quietly by herself. Poppy looked like she was struck or stuck in her own thoughts. She wasn't the extrovert I met outside the aquarium. Hey, is everything good? However, she didn't reply. You mind if I sit next to you? Sure. So, um, do you feel comfortable with me staying here for a bit? Why wouldn't I? Just trying to make small talk. Not bothering me. I sat for a moment with Poppy, glancing at the fish tank every once in a while. The aquarium was mostly empty, seeing as the tanks were just now finishing having their water cleaned. I'm looking for a cute bunny that I saw walk in. Eh, it's weird. What's weird? These animals on that side, and I'm on this side. But I'm not a human. I'm not an animal. And I, I don't feel free. It's just weird. I know you're a murderous bunny and all, but hey, go with it. Bobby wasn't paying attention to the aquarium. Her mind was somewhere else. Then, she broke silence again. I was thinking about humans. Were? I mean, were you? Wondering what it would be like to be one? Not necessarily. What's wrong then? You don't like spending time here? Well, it isn't that I don't like it. I love doing this. And Sammy lets me off my leash in here. Sure, Sammy likes you very much. She just doesn't want anything bad to happen. Yeah. So Sammy let me be alone with Poppy. But only on a place she knows she's more docile. Which means... Poppy comes here often enough for Sammy to realize that. Job's great and all, but sometimes I feel like there's way too many rules. But you're feeling pretty bummed out about it. I guess. Missed the silence, I came to realize Poppy wasn't here to see the fish, nor to calm herself down. Sentient or not, she's still an animal. She's surveilled and restricted anywhere she goes. She comes here to try to understand what the outside of a cage feels like. Poppy went ahead and took a bite off of a fish she took from the tank. Uh. Shouldn't have rules your VIP, or is that even safe to eat? Let's go with the rules. No, I understand why we have these rules. Besides, if I behaved more like Sammy, I wouldn't be in this situation. You know, Sammy told me something in private. It was a good thing about you. Really? I could tell you if you promise not to say anything. I can promise I don't keep promises. Fair enough. Sheesh. I hope Sammy doesn't kill me for this. Well, she told me a secret about herself. She said something like, she's actually jealous you're better at being yourself than she is at being her. Huh? But this, it isn't a good thing. She's much better at controlling herself, but she gets to go out by herself more often than me. You don't get to walk around the place? Not by myself. Not in a while. Hmm. Do something bad in the past, or why don't we do something fun? Some choices, choices. Let's do something fun. Come on, we'll do whatever you want. Within reason, of course. Too sweet, Ava Pilot. I know. Remember, flattery will get you everywhere. 
Thank you for actually taking the time to sit here with me. I think it's a first. No problem, Poppy. Damn your process as we walked up to her seat. Feeling better? Yeah, Averpod told me something that helped me clear my thoughts. He also promised we could do something fun together. Is that right? I mean, it doesn't need to be in that way. Oh, I think it does. Not necessarily in that way, hmm? Sorry, I kind of just disappeared, Sammy. It's fine. You'll have to have lunch without us, though. You have a show to perform in half an hour. Uh, but I wanted to play more with the boy toy. Yes, please do. It's a scary thing to hear from a giant animal. You girls must be busy all day, being center stage and all that. Oh, don't you worry. We're going to have all night for ourselves after we're done. What's on your mind? Don't be stupid. Something in that way. Eh? You told me I could do anything I wanted. Guess we go back to our pens and us three meet again tonight. Sound good? Sure, I'll tell Prinny to make sure and schedule that. Do you know Prinny? I do. She's chill. You can invite her over. But she has a boyfriend. Right. Her boyfriend that she definitely has isn't just saying so to keep guys off her back. Told her. I told you she did that. Anyway. It was really pleasant to talk to you, Ava Violet. You're usually picky about who you mingle with. Unless we're in heat. Ha, 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 ha. They said it. They said the name of it. In heat? Oh, we'd be glad to explain. Just you wait until nighttime. Alright then, I'll see you soon. Not soon enough. Believe me. My giant anthropomorphic hot women. I assume things went well. They did. How oh, well? Tell me everything. I think I got along with Sam and Poppy quite easily. Poppy needed some support, but Sammy needed more confidence. Hmm, the meet and greet was a success, I assume. Yes. Alright, I'll take care of the date then. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. It's my job after all. And thank you for being this kind. Oh. Uh, of course. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Ava Pilot. Well, off I go then. The monorail should be charged by now. Meet the two at the plaza once the time arrives. Just like Prinny said, Sammy and Poppy were waiting for me at the plaza. And time for another save. It was a cold evening, but it got much warmer as I approached the girls. Damn right. Maybe in heat so uh yeah hi I heard from poppy here that uh you told her what i told you in private ah uh, about the i'm sorry it was to cheer her up did i mess up it's okay if you hadn't told her i probably wouldn't have either i didn't know it made you feel so bad i could tone it down a little it's fine I guess i should have been more honest and straightforward with you i'm around you all day after all Glad you made up, you two. Do you have anything in mind tonight, Averpilot? Oh, I have so many things in mind. I was going to suggest we visit a restaurant. Wait, what? But I didn't bring any cash on the trip. It's an all-paid excursion. What are you talking about? I don't think that'll be a problem. Our day's probably going getting cut short. I'm sorry. Is she okay? Poppy is fine. She's just in heat. Is this that thing you mentioned? Sammy took a hold of Poppy's torso and pulled her closer to herself. Oh boy. Poppy here gets turned on much more easily than the rest of us. And you and I, we're going to do something about that. Made her feel so cozy back there, she didn't allow me to help her calm down tonight. She was that eager to see you. Alright, well, I had to cut out a big portion. <laughs> uh... Right, intense. <laughs> we got to have fun with both Sammy and Poppy and went like three times. <laughs> that was pretty cool. All right. Uh, the night had fallen across the island and the moonlight shone brightly through the windows of the room. As morning arrived, 
Sammy and Poppy were gone. 200 pounds were lifted off of my chest as I could finally breathe for the first time in hours. How are your hips feeling, Ava Pilot? Brittle, but I'll live. It'll hurt later. More importantly, how was the date? It was insane. Glad to hear you're having fun. Let me know if you need anything. Everything okay? I was just wondering if I was going to see them again. I mean, probably. Depends if you bump into them while at the resort. Ah, right. They've got jobs, after all. Right, right. Thanks. No worries, love. Remember, you got more dates coming up. I'll be downstairs. Sure thing. Oh god, more dates. That just hit me. I just started this whole thing. Well, here we go, I guess. Never did find a screwdriver for the robot. Oh, you got nothing. Okay. Um, how do I? Ah. On a rail, maybe? No. I guess that's it. I think this is the end of the, uh, chapter. I can't do anything else. Yeah. Where I click, does it do anything? I, I think this is it. I really do. All right, so that was In Heat Honeymoon. And chapter one was uh, pretty good, especially at the end there. Now, obviously, I can't show any of that. But, yeah, that was great. And if you've ever played In Heat, you know what makes it so good. Like, those little videos that you can find in that game. And watch little scenes get to do it here this dialogue be cool so can't wait to see chapter two when it comes out and on that note you'll have yourselves a good one and i will see you later